Hello everyone, I'm back. I just rinsed the um, conditioner out of my hair. I know, truly exciting, huh? I gotta put my glasses back on. Whoosh! Messy, messy, messy. I'm a mess. Scooby decided he wanted to get in the tub with me and got me sprayed. Fat headed dog. Look, the water got all the way over here, Eve. And I had the, uh, the little thing that you put in them. But anyway, now that my hair is all clean, I didn't really dry it too much. I didn't dry it. I just set this towel on top of it. And that soaked up a lot of my water. I need a lot of water in my hair. Because like I said, ooh, it feels dry already. My hair, it just soaks the water right up. It's ridiculous. So I spend a lot of time during the day with my water bottle. This is just water spritzing my hair. Because it literally, it will dry like that. It's crazy. So to help lock in the moisture, so you put your little liquid on your hair, and this, you know, like I say, some people don't do it this way. This is how I do it, though. Um, to lock some of that moisture in, you need some sort of oil or butter or something like that. You ever heard about the butters? So I make my own. Here goes, and this smells so good. Mm. So this is actually good for your skin or your hair. This I'm using for my hair. The one I make for my skin is different than the one I make for my hair. Because the hair, when I put jojoba oil in it, coconut, coconut oil, shea butter, um, olive oil, um, what else did I put in there? Olive oil. I also put lavender essential oil. Sometimes I might put a little peppermint. I put rosemary essential oil in it. It smells so good. It's really good for your hair. And this is how I do my hair. I'm a finger comber. I don't need a comb comb. I use my fingers to comb my hair. So um, this, like I said, I put this oil on here to trap the moisture into my hair. So that's a good thing. Or else I'll be really, really spraying a whole lot even more. So I had to go dry my face off. So, okay, so that's the oil. It's throughout all my hair. I've rubbed it throughout my hair now. Did my scalp a little bit, making sure everything everywhere feels nice and oiled. Get the front a little bit more. There we go. Get the sides good. <sighs> Oops, something popped up on my screen. I hope y'all don't see that. That's just rude. Okay, so now my hair has been hydrated. It's been oiled. Now I need to put a little bit of leave-in conditioner on there. Now this this is one of those shea moss moisturizer. What? Shea moisture, yep. Shea moisture um conditioners. Let's see, I didn't put much. I need more than that. Um, last week when I did my hair, I did the conditioner and I also did this um gel stuff. I did not like the gel, I'm gonna tell you. Because it made my hair feel hard, so. I'm just gonna skip the gel. Now the gel did make it so that um, my curls were more defined and they stayed in that each curl, you know what I'm saying? Which was nice, you know, but I don't like the hardness that came along with it. So no uh, gel this time. I am going to make some gel, see if that does better because I don't need a heavy hold. I just need a little bit of a hold. So, oh, well, that's that, but anyway. So there we go. Now I'm all done. Now I have to do is just wait on my hair to dry. Let me put it down some. There we go. All done. Exciting, huh? See my hair is done. See how it sticks up? That's why I pat it down. I'm trying to get my curls to act right because they just want to do their own thing. They just want to stick out there. So I pat them down, trying to keep them down. Have big old curls all over the place. One thing about the natural hair. Younger, I've had natural hair about almost my whole life. The very overwhelming majority of my life. And I tried to do styles with my natural hair that did not fit my hair. My hair just did not want to do those things. I don't know why I was always forcing my hair, trying to force my hair to do things it didn't want to do. And I tried the relaxers and things and, you know, I just didn't like them too much, which is fine. If you like relaxers, I say go with that. But if you're going to do natural hair, like me, this time go around, I don't know, maybe it's because I've gotten older. I'm going to let my hair do what it's due. And I'm going to figure out what, you know, just figure out what kind of styles it seems to like. I'm going to go with the, I know what type of hair I got. I can feel it. 
you know, and I'm just going to do styles that complement the hair that I have instead of trying to force this hair on my head to do things that it don't want to do. You should see me trying to get these froze. It was hilarious. Right now, I can do a little fro. It's right now. It's fine, you know, but my curls are kind of like too big <laughs> to do a fro. It just, it just was not working. It was bad. So um, we're going to see what happens this go around. And like I say, as my hair grows out, I'll put pictures of the different styles that my daughter does on my hair. So you guys have a great day. Um, once this dries, I'll take a picture again. I'm looking kind of, it's all wet and kind of grayish right now. But oh well. So once my hair dries, I'll take another picture. It looks the same as last week as a teeny weeny fro. So no big changes. You guys have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.